I'm going to demonstrate how to mince an onion. They come in many sizes. Depending on your hand size, you might find it more manageable to work with a smaller onion or even a shallot uh, in the beginning when you're trying to pick up and learn this technique. One thing you want to notice with an onion is you look either on the inside or on the outside is that it obviously comes in round layers. So how do round layers become fine square minced pieces? So there are two actions that take place when you begin to slice an onion. You always want to leave the core intact there because that is what the binder is for your slicing action. So I slice it, the core right down the middle, right there and set one half aside. And then the first round of cutting goes crosswise. The second round goes in toward the core. Ideally you do this as thin as you can going across with basic and you don't have to be in a hurry to do this and obviously always keep your thumb back there. So there's the first set going across. And then we want to do the same thing going toward the core as we slice inward. And this is the trickier part. And this is the only thing holding this together is not, not my hand completely, but it's actually the core of the onion. So I want to get a few of those slices in there. And you're not going to get a perfect square as you go back down, but certainly this is a measure for how you're progressing uh, with this skill. And when I was taught how to do this as a young apprentice, the chef told me that this is well, how they hired cooks. So whoever who could do this, uh, with the most ease and the most accuracy would be the cook that they would hire. So obviously it was a good gauging skill uh, for figuring out how often somebody had handled a knife. And I was even told back then, this is not perfect here, but then if you just have to go back across it maybe once, maybe twice, you have a pretty fine onion. And obviously the finer you cut it and the smaller they get, uh, the more surface area and the quicker that they will simmer down or cook down uh, once they hit a hot pan or into a simmering, simmering oil. So that's ideally what you want to achieve here. If you do have a piece that seems like it's a little bit out of sorts, you can put it aside and use it for your court bouillon or your mirepoix or flavoring some broth that you're making. And then basically this is what you come up with.